The Civil War's first battle of any size was fought at Philippi, West Virginia, although still part of Virginia at the time, on June 3, 1861. Though the battle was little more than a few shots squeezed off during a rainstorm, it had far greater long-term significance than one would first imagine. The little firefight inspired violent protests against Virginia seceding from the Union throughout the western part of the state. A few days after the battle, the Wheeling Convention would nullify the succession of their part of the state and appoint their own governor. It wouldn't be long before there would be a new state in the Union, West Virginia. There was also a far more personal impact on two Confederate soldiers. Both were injured so severely at Philippi that their mangled limbs needed to be removed. It's believed that these were the first battlefield amputations of the Civil War. One of the casualties was James E. Hanger, an 18-year-old college student. After returning home, Hanger made himself an artificial limb from scrap barrel staves with a hinge at the knee. His makeshift replacement leg was so successful that the Virginia State Legislature commissioned him to manufacture the Hanger limb for other southern wounded vets. And so was born the now flourishing business of prosthetic limb replacements. I'm Pastor Roland Most, local Civil War historian, author, and speaker. Remember, it isn't just history, it's our story. The story of Fayette County and how the Civil War affected us. Keep listening to 590 WMBS for more Civil War moments as we remember the 150th anniversary of the Civil War.